Okay, I'm back. And I'm still stuck on the USG Ishimura. I've, I've not managed to escape yet. Uh, I guess we're going into the void this time. It's always something. It's always something. Exiting my best buddy, the tram system. It did my... I'm guessing my cargo didn't come with me. This may be our last chance of getting out of here alive, Isaac. There's an asteroid loaded up in the mining bay waiting to be smelted. If you attach the SOS beacon to it, you can launch it away from the ship to make a clean broadcast. The beacon's on the maintenance subdeck. You can launch the asteroid from the control room. <sighs> Damn, the control room is locked. It looks like they keep an emergency access key on the processing subdeck. Couldn't be easy, could it? I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't know how much of these crates I can take. <laughs> what you get. As usual, the first thing we're gonna do is, uh, loot the area. Let's see. Check my state on the ammo. So I got six bars of health, because the medium med pack is twice as strong as the regular med pack. We got a lot of ammo. We're looking pretty good. I feel like using the line gun. Uh, when we get our power nodes, I believe we're gonna- where is this? Mining... Operations, but well, we're in the right place. Welcome to the mining deck. So, I wonder how action-packed this episode will be. The last- there, there was a lot of fighting in the last one. Have we transitioned into more of the action game component, I wonder? Like, I only have vague memory of this game. I, I remember the most important bullet points. Okay, let's check these side areas, I guess. Yeah, this area looks like it's kind of like a power-up area. We've got a workbench, probably some supplies. I like how there's a lot of, uh... Like, th this is not a solid wall, so you can see it doesn't obstruct my visibility. Money, ammo. Why is it playing this music? Okay. Just playing this like <laughs> music out of nowhere. Okay, can I use the store without action pack music? Security phone. Okay, so this is basically our kind of like introductory power-up room type of place. Let's put some stuff away. I'll put one of these larger med packs away. Put a small pack away as well. I'll put one of these away. Otherwise, I think that's fine. So we're over, we're at 50,000 credits, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy another power node. And uh, what I want to check is how close we are to getting a hit extra, the next point of hit HP. Because we've been powering up our weapons a lot. Like, I don't want to be fra a fragile target, though, so... There we go. One. Let's just... Or, l let me double check. So I could spend... One to get a mining upgrade, or a... Um, this is the secondary. Mine is in, like, you shoot a landmine. We could get a width upgrade. And that puts us in par in uh, for the final damage. So, oh, we're doing 24 damage. How much is this thing? 16. And there's only one more damage upgrade over here. Which would give us a capacity upgrade as well. I think this is the one we're going to go with because it's basically going to max this weapon out. So I can either get one damage there or I can get... I really want... I kind of want to show you the win. Time to get wide. Now, this weapon should be wider. I can already tell. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can tell it's... And it could get even wider than this, too. Who needs accuracy when you've got the line gun? 
Soon it'll be so wide that it could sweep through an entire hallway. And I won't even need to, well, I mean, I'll need to aim the, like, elevation or the angle, but... Doing okay there? I'll grab you. Speak to me! Do you need CPR? Well, it looks like you need a prosthetic arm. But, you know, I know we only have just met, but I'm gonna need you to, uh... I'm gonna set you down right over here. Just keep an eye on this upgrade-y thing from... I know what you need. Probably need to go to the store. You need, uh, you need some refreshments. I, I get it. Tough day. I'm gonna put you right over here. And you can just get yourself some refreshments. They'll fix you right up. Yeah, don't even worry about it. Let's go on, though. The mining subject is offline for some reason, Isaac. I'll see if I can run a bypass. Okay. Uh, so we are, I assume... I don't know what... Let's go to decade. We'll just go systematically. Okay, I guess we were on deck, eh? So this one's... What's that? Oh god, he's in here with me. You're not allowed to be in here. I guess the elevator is big enough for him. Okay, so even though he hit my character, it wasn't like, it wasn't like a real damage hit. I'm gonna stay in the corner. When they drop in, it takes them a moment to recover. I think they just don't like elevators. So let me read this. Always follow mining deck procedures. Keep your rigs synced up. Check. Read and understand manuals. We've done a lot of reading, so I'll call that a check. Inspect your work area where we're always inspecting. Never approach active machines. Ugh. I mean... We, we can make some exceptions. Keep all shields and guards in place. Why don't I have shields? I'm just flesh and blood. Well, I guess I'm part metal, too, but... This is Temple. I found Elizabeth, but there isn't a single space-worthy vessel in the whole goddamn bay. Jacob, hurry up! We need to find a beacon. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. Well, that was a short message. I think they might be the characters of Dead Space Extraction. I can't remember for sure, though. Hey. Really? How are these hits not counting? No! Get away from me. Okay, I got a second weapon. Look at how many of them there are. Oh, uh, I... He's gonna, like, belch his little dudes out now. Let me back up. I need to reload. So now you got to see what happens if you don't kill them correctly. Now I gotta clean those guys up. Horizontal shot looks a little better right now. I didn't want to reload, I wanted to. This is where the pulse rifle would be really helpful. Okay, the flamethrower would probably also be good against those, but I mean, I'm not going to use the flamethrower just to deal with one enemy type. The force gun would probably also be handy. Let's see how much ammo I wasted on that. Not too much. Looking good still. Line gun time. 
I used up a lot of line gun ammo on that one guy who was... The, the attacks were missing him. Okay, so if this is the right way, let's go this way. I'm pretty sure this area just kind of loops. Okay, that, that's the saw blade right here, I think. Pretty sure that's what that was. There we go. Stasis pack. Oh yeah, I was gonna check to see if there's a way to assign those to a button. No, it looks like these are only for weapons, so I guess you do have to use these manually, so you want to use them when you're safe. Armor 10%, interesting, so I do get damage reduction, not just hit point expansion. I wonder how much damage I resist with the highest upgrade, probably like 20-ish percent, I would imagine. Because I've made two upgrades, I'm guessing went by 5% each... Lots of noises. Okay, it's just this... the perfect combat situation for the line gun. Oh, what's that? Check behind me. Yes! Come out in a single line. Another shop. Okay, got a new thing to read. The processing room problem. Mining deck log, cruise G Q Med. The situation here just got a lot worse. The gravity failure came as we were coll collating asteroids and one broke free of the grav beam. It collided with a wall, killing two crew and split into chunks. They're free floating in the processing room and we can't restore gravity to get the master key until they're cleared. We could really use some Engineering help up here, huh? Oh, well. I happen to know just the right person for that job. Okay, we got some ammo for a type that we're not using, so let's go ahead and sell this. Contact energy. Now, those are worth a thousand each. Sounds like it's a really hard weapon to maintain the ammo of, if you wanted to use it. We are keeping one power node on hand, so that if we run into a locked door, we can plug it in and get the juicy loot inside. Got anything for me? Oh, yes. We haven't been damaged yet. Entering zero gravity. There's a failsafe on the processing control door. It won't open until gravity is restored. But you can't turn on the gravity until those boulders are cleared from the room. Maybe you can dump them into that gravity beam with your kinesis gun. Are you one of the miners that got squished? I wonder why the necromorph didn't infect this guy. Maybe you're just unfit. <laughs> I don't know why that amused me, but it did. Interesting. I know there's going to be enemies. Where? Oh, here he is. It's Mr. Wiggler. Let me back up a little bit. Mr. Wiggler. You will wiggle no longer when I'm done with you. Yeah, I lied. Maybe he will wiggle. I think it confused him when I did that. Where's Mr. Wiggler at? 
Oh god, did he hit me? Oh yeah, he actually got a hit on me. Wow, oh, they're so annoying to hit. What kind of leap was that, Mr. Wiggler? There's a third one here. I think he's having a slight problem. Out of my way, Mr. Wiggler. And all your evil brothers. One of the annoying things about zero gravity is that you don't know where the... your refuse, Mr. I did... Okay, let's, let's take away the... Game. There we go. Really? Oh ho! I don't know why I like doing this. No, it's like their their body is like it has like a not nearly as much momentum as some of the other things. Is he not going to go in? I'll give him a push. There we go. How much damage did he do to me? Look at that. Maybe 40% of a bar? Because we're mighty. Come here. There we go. I have a feeling they might send bad guys every time we destroy one of these. Baby. Oh, man, you do not like this upgraded line gun. Oh, he cheated. He, he attacked. He attacked. That's, that's cheating in my book. Attacking is cheating. Changing their angle on me, making the line gun less effective when they're on the walls like that. Ammo. Oh god, his head just splatted. Evil baby. Get jettisoned. Okay, so there's a boulder over there. I don't know if there's three of them or four of them, but let's jump across. Thank you for that surface announcement, I guess. Smash this on the ground and take the juicy goodness inside. There's the boulder. Oh! Yeah. Okay, let's throw this in. Okay, let's see what the next wave is like. We have evil babies. Mr. Wigglers. Maybe we get a freebie. Okay, yeah, I get it. Shut up. Thank you. I'm guessing that's the gravity control over there. Ah, here we go. This is why we save our power nodes. Unlock this room. No treasure over there, so it's all on this side. Oh, yeah, this is that area that we could see through. Wow. Yeah, hit point. What else did we get from that? Plenty of ammo and whatnot. Okay. So I think we need... I think we cleared all the obstacles. And now we need to... Uh, is it right here? Okay, so there's another rock somewhere in here.
We can go in any direction we want, so... Oh, here we go. Really? Give me that. I gotta get closer. There we go. I'm gonna get the right side up again. All three Fenton anomalies destroyed. Gravity can now be restored. Doesn't seem like a bad room to fight in. Even though it's a bit wide and open. Okay, I guess they're not gonna fight me. Only two waves then. We got scaffolding or railway. Coming from a long distance. Oh, I shot his nutsack that he was carrying. Oh, man. Oh, I can sever his nutsack and use it to kill the other guys. Genius. Genius. No! Here's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna freeze him. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm just gonna blow him up. Like that. Didn't like that, did you? Oh, perfect. No! Oh, it's it's not giving me contact on them. Oh, cool. This is a this is an area that we can just keep running in. It goes in a circle. What if I just drop a landmine right there? Maybe it'll clear them out for me. Get them. Come on. Yeah. What if I just blast your head off? Does that deactivate you? Okay, so it looks like I can shoot his head off, and that kind of disables him. I also kind of want to get this out of here, though, before somebody gets hurt. Okay, let's see if they drop me anything interesting. Oh, 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 let's... I think they can still damage me, even if, if I run them over. I think I killed some enemies over here, too, so let's check over here. One more pass to make sure we got everything, and then I will check my inventory. But yeah, I feel like that's everything. Yeah, our ammo's looking. Okay, we got a lot of... Oh, I think we... Did we get a semiconductor? Ruby Semiconductor. I think that's worth like 10,000, so that's uh, another power node right there. Well, what, are, what are they looking at over here? Eon News, Unitology. That's the key, Isaac. It'll get you into the control room so you can launch the asteroid. Don't forget to attach the beacon first. I read another report on the colonist dementia. It seemed to start after they removed the marker from the planet. God knows how long it was down there. Okay, let's see if we can if we can make any room for... Is there any junk? Nope, I'm at full health. I just tried to heal myself. So I guess we just can't take that with us because all this stuff is stuff I want. Power node. And so we just got close combat. I feel safer with this out. Oh, you didn't just 
run off the power in it. What is that? Okay, I thought something landed in here with me. But I think something just overloaded. Okay, nothing behind me. Going. Sure, I guess. Am I where back where I was before? Oh, I want to kind of get my bearings on the area. Okay, yeah, all right. I, I was just, I just, I suspected that I kind of went in a circle. Look at that, Ruby Semiconductor. Move another medium med pack, a small med pack. Let's move two of the stasis packs. I don't think we'll move any of the ammo, though, because we just made plenty of space anyways. Let's go ahead and buy two power nodes. Where's the power node? Here it is. Okay, keeping us at that 40,000 credit range. I want that schematics for the next suit. Wouldn't mind finding a stasis recharge area. Okay, let's Please see if we... recycle any unused materials regularly. Thank you. I didn't like the look of that guy. Okay, save point. So far, so good. Taking a little bit of damage, but not too bad. Okay, so we're going back through this area again. Okay, so this area is obviously repopulating. That was a very clean kill on Mr. Wiggler. He just sliced his head off in both of his arms in one line. Okay, we're going down the floor. Let's see if they drop down on top of us again. I'm going to stand in the corner. They can't get behind me if, I, if all that's behind me is the wall. Music is playing. Was that grunting noise? Don't say. Yeah, I see. Oh, he's turning him into dark necromorphs. That's annoying. What direction do you want to attack from? Oh, I, I got a visual on him. Can I hit him through here? Just gonna take his leg. I think I'm always gonna go for the leg on the. Um, Oh my gosh, I'm at the prison. There's so many of them. I believe that kills them. He should be dead. We destroyed both of his weapons. But what I hate about those, like, proboscis guys, like the converter guys, is that it's kind of hard to tell what their weak where they, I know what their their weak point is their proboscis that like needle mouth they have but the uh, it, it's that they don't really show it too frequently. I'll really make sure all my weapons are loaded. That's the issue. They don't show the weapon. They they don't bring their proboscis out very frequently. I think those explode. Let me grab one and try. Okay, they do explode.
Dr. Kai, what the hell are you doing? Ah, get back! Come any closer, Anne, and I'll shoot him. Give me the access codes to the cargo bay. You idiot! This is processing! Why the hell would I have codes to cargo? Don't lie to me! I'm sick of everyone lying to me! It is imperative that I get the marker. Give me those codes! I don't have them! Is this what you did to the captain? Go on, shoot me if you've got the balls. Hey, Idiots! Right. It's the only way to stop it! The only way to end it! He's completely lost it. Somebody call security! Okay, looks like there was a conflict and one of them looks like he's trying to put the marker back, it sounds like. Interesting looking area. But we got a save point here, so let's go for it. One of the pieces of advice I would give you is if, if you can avoid panicking, if the Necromorph grab you and you have to go through the cutscene where you mash the A button, that's actually kind of your opportunity to get a look at where the other ones are, because like they kind of wait their turn, do they? They'll all just jump you all at once. Oh, that was nice. Oh, terrible aim. There we go. I see, it's like a gauntlet. Ow, that hurts. I'm not good at this. Where are they? Got you that time. No! Dodged it. Oh! It's like deploying them like pop-up turrets. Why would all these explosive barrels be here? I mean, these things die in one hit. But let me not get distracted too much. There could be enemies in front. Go ahead and use it. Oh, darn it! I can't be aiming to heal, I have to be... Let your tools do the talking. Can I leave, please? Isaac? Is that really you? It feels like it's been so long. But I can help you now. Come with me. I would if there wasn't a giant wall in between us. They gave us a lot of hit points from that, so I'm guessing they assumed that we would take a decent bit of damage, which, I mean, I guess we did take more damage than normal. The beacon's in the storage room next to you. I think I could disable the lock from here. Hold on! Oh, Jesus. Okay. I guess I gotta protect Nicole. He lived through that. Impressive. I want them to attack me, though. Take both of their arms, or their... Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I don't want them to attack me now. Did he fall to his doom down there? Okay, that's a pretty far ways down. He's back. Stupid baby. Oh. Oh, he missed. Oh, maybe he did it or... Okay, the 
doors unlocked, Isaac. I can't get over to you, but I'll find a way. I love you. This will all be over soon. Okay, well, I guess we traded Hammond for... Oh, I gotta get these bodies out of the way. But I'm grabbing everything but what I want. Want your head? I guess we traded Hammond for Nicole as far as characters go. Make sure there's nothing else. I think that's everything, but I'm also kind of having fun throwing their bodies down this bit. To be completely honest. Yeah. I need to hit a Kinesis station soon, so I don't have to waste... I mean, we have so many stasis packs, it might not be a problem. Oh my god, all this ammo and whatnot. Isaac! Hey, I lost your signal for a while. You had me worried. I see you've got the beacon, so head for the mining bay and attach it to the asteroid. I've been running trajectory calculations, and if we launch soon, there's a good chance the asteroid can reach a safe distance to begin transmitting. Still no sign of Hammond. In his state, I can't imagine he's still alive. Okay, let's drop one of these. Because that's an irrelevant uh, ammo type. And we'll take one of these. How am I doing on line racks? Good enough to start using the line gun again. Where do I need to go? Oh, okay, this just went to a treasure room. Oh, that means I'm gonna have to run the gauntlet again. And there's no way they're gonna let me just take the road back. Baby? No, one of those things. Not the same, a little bit smaller than an evil baby, but. Oh, I dodged it just in time. Oh, an evil baby! Reload. Oh! No, you don't. Give me that. I can't. Oh. I'll heal and then I'll pick it up. He wants to open up fast once there's enemies here. You see that? Look, it's time opening up last time. Safety gear must be worn at all times in Class A environments. Okay. So far, so good. Super gross area. Wait. And you want to know how I knew that? The body would have despawned by now. They wouldn't have left him there. Can't fool me, game. I've got elevator access to the mining subdeck. It was a security lockdown, although I don't think it helped them. Now that you've got the beacon and the key, head over there. It looks like the asteroid is held in place by some gravity tethers. You have to knock those out before you can launch it. Take me a swig of Mountain Dew. Oh, do I need to go down or up? Go up. Um, mining, I guess? I mean, once we get there, I'll know. 
messing with me. What I'll do is I'll shoot another one off. Oh, this is the correct way. Dusty in here. I like that. Hard to see. I want them to come in the area where it's just barely see. Oh, there he is. Okay, I think I got him. I don't like it. It's dusty in here. Providing them good cover. Where do I go? That way? Go this way. It's like the same type of room. But with dust. Ah, shut up. You're not all dusty and crap. I can deal with you easily. Look at all these crates. Really? I can't punch them? You stink. Oh god, it's a bunch of little, like, munchkin guys. That is not what I wanted from a crate. Given that there's an elevator here, I'm guessing we come back to this location. There's even a side area over here, and there's a so. Oh. Exposed shock happened. Oh, there's a store right across. We, we upgraded our health recently. But we need... One, two, three. This is one, two. One, two, three. So basically get to the next width upgrade we would need to do this anyways. But let's see if we can't get another plug into our... Oh yeah, easily. Capacity upgrade, damage upgrade. So now this has maximum damage. This is one off of its maximum damage. We need three points to get the durability upgrade, or a duration rather. A little bit of duration wouldn't be hurt. It would make it a little... Although, I don't know, we're doing pretty good with the existing... Dur oh, Jesus! You're not supposed to be here! Polite of him to wait until I was done, at least. Is this. And the magazine too dark to read it, though. Yeah, let's go go over to the shop. Actually, let's hit the... Uh, yeah, let's go over to the shop, which is... We need the shop. Processing log. Supervisor 2nd Engineer Dallas reporting. This will be my last report. I have seen what they do to the bodies. What they become. I can't let that happen to me. At least if I don't have any limbs, I won't be able to kill anyone when I'm infected. Please tell Don and the kids that I love them. Oh, oh God. Oh. One more. One more. Tell you what, that guy had some guts. Like, you know, it's, it's crazy enough that to have the guts to kill yourself, but he decided to dismember himself first. Oh, the level four suit. The level four suit. It looks like, hey, look at, did you see that? It's 3,500 credits, so, or 35,000 credits, so it was right in between my estimations. So that means almost double the price is a pretty good area to guess. So the next one's probably in the 50, 50, 55, maybe 60,000 range. Oh, man. Looking pretty high. This actually might be the highest level. I don't know if it gets more high-tech than this. I'm 
feeling high tech though. I, I don't know if it. I don't know if it gets more advanced than that. Let's move some stuff. Move the large. Let's move a gold. Sell the gold can of semiconductor. Move. Move. This is fine. Let's check our inventory because it should have improved our inventory. I said check our inventory. Uh, mm, I don't know, actually. There's some inventory slots at the bottom. Maybe it does upgrade further. Basically, I want to know, should I be saving up even more money? What are our key items? Mining access key and the SOS beacon? Ah, uh, yes. Oh yeah, I forgot all about the dusty room that we haven't explored thoroughly. Yeah, I don't like dusty room. Looks like we need a battery. Okay. I'm guessing we need the battery from over here. Should we check up here first then? Okay, so I guess we do come back here later. Okay, so I think what we can do is we can borrow the battery from this one and take it through over to the other area. I'm guessing, I'm guessing the way it's going to work is they're going to try to ambush me while I'm taking the battery. Why did that vent explode for like apparently no reason? I have a battery and I know how to use it. I have a battery. That weird gurgling noise is the unique sound of the self-destructing guys. I think I'm going to explore on foot while I have better visibility. Okay, let's take the battery with us. Plug it in, plug it in. Does anyone not like that? I plugged the battery in. One coming out to get me? Okay. And then I'm probably going to have to take it back to power it again. They're, they're going to use that dusty ring. Here's a stasis recharger, good. No one behind me. Got something to read. Mining timeline, mining log, Dallas A, supervisor, second engineer. Planet crack went smoothly from this end, although there do seem to have been problems planet side, and we've temporarily lost contact with the colony. 
first rock ball was extracted from the tectonic load approximately one hour after the planet crack and has been processed, refined, and smelted. Results have exceeded even optimistic initial estimates. Normal recovery is around 35% mineral, 5% fossil, and 60% waste. But material from the first ball was 65% mineral, 0% fossil, in line with expectations. That's a 6.5 ton of ore from a 10 ton ball, assuming it's not an anomaly. We've hit the mother load. I see, so... They basically felt like they hit the jackpot with this planet. So it's almost like they're taking like a core sample or something. Taking like a giant chunk of the planet. So that's also the correct way? What about this way? Okay, they must be two doors of the same room. It's a very large area. Ah, here's the giant ball that they're mining. I see. Trying to get my bearings. Did I hear somebody? Yes, I did. Oh, it's dark, Mr. Wiggler. It's his, like, edgy brother. He takes a ton of ammo, jeez. Since he takes so much ammo, let me use this to a little more ammo efficient. Dark, Mr. Wiggler, give me any items? What about you? Oh, you both gave me an item. I looked up on the wiki what these dark versions are called. They are called enhanced. They are enhanced versions. So like, I don't know, they're kind of boring names, so I'm gonna call them like... Was that a Echomorph screen? Yes, it was. Oh my god, his limbs are so... They have, his limbs have so much health. Although I think I was hitting his shoulder a bit there. I probably should have switched to the vertical shot. I'm gonna keep exploring since exploring seems to be triggering enemies do it here. What do I need to do? Asteroid release? Let me look at this giant mechanism. I'm guessing I need to do something with this. Interesting. Can I walk on this? We'll find out. I'm guessing I don't want to get hit by that machine. Oh, what are you doing here? Evil baby. Dead. Oh, another evil baby. Dead. What do I need to do? Oh, plant the beacon. Of course. to the oxygen. Any more bad guys? I feel like there should be bad guys. Let's get back right side up. Get Dark Mr. Wiggler out of here. He doesn't distract me. Okay, so what do I do next? Of 
pointing towards this large turbine thing. Um, do I need to shoot it? Oh, that's what I do. Oh, oh, was that good? I wasn't sure if I did something wrong there. Okay, where do I go next? Over here? Or why not? Okay. Oh, okay, there's a second one. It's just taking me in a really whirly wig way. And no one is... Every time you advance enough in a direction, the, the game tends to, like, throw some crap at you, so I'm always... Come on. Okay, so we got the Kinesis Tethers. Oh, yeah, I remember them mentioning that. Something about the Kinesis Tethers. Oh, yeah, there's some on the outside as well. Okay, I remember. I'm pretty sure those are like the centrifuge and that they'll squish me if I get hit by them, so I, I probably need to time the jumps. Entering vacuum. They got evil babies? Oh, I forgot the money there. Okay, so here's the tether. Quickly make sure we don't have Necromorph on us. Got it. Oh, we got a little bit of oxygen. I can look around a little bit. Oh, there's a second tether. What I probably should do is go get some fresh air real quick. Where is the machinery yet? Okay, here it is. I'll just dip in real quick. And dip back into the vacuum. Sure no necromorph have spawned in. Oh. Ah, oh, it's too far away. Forget about it. Whoa! Where did that come from? It trolled me. What a jerk. Hopefully there's like one of these quick checkpoints nearby. This does not look like a quick checkpoint. Ah. Oh. Jump over here. We got a little over 30 seconds to go. Okay, I see. Let's let it pass. Okay, we did it successfully that way. So it was just the way that we were on the wrong hemisphere. More enemies, I assume. Keep moving to make myself a harder target. Oh wait, that's right, we haven't destroyed the ones on this side of it. Okay. Come here. 
money. Guys, yes or no? Okay, the answer appears to be no. There's an item. Money. Where am I going? Okay, I'm going out this way. Make sure I'm not being followed. Okay, we're good. Exiting zero gravity. Recharge my kinesis module. Okay. I hear somebody. I think this is the right way. I'll, I'll use the, the marker as soon as we get there and I'll know if I, that was the right way or not. What? Was that fire? This place is getting worse, not better. I'm probably going to need this battery. So now it's dusty and fiery. Take a look at real quick. I think I'm just gonna throw the battery across. Ah, oh, getting stuck on the wall. There we go. Hope that wasn't a bad idea. Get the battery back. These these flames seem to be going constantly. Okay, let me go over here. Saying I need to go this way. How can I do that though? Can I freeze it and make it stop? Oh, that didn't do anything. Oh, I see. The battery are in the way. Let me go in here real quick. Not sure if I, I... I keep getting worried that I'm going to get flanked. No, the perspective threw me off. That's what the issue was. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm surprised they didn't try to attack me inside the fiery, dusty area. It seemed like a good opportunity, but I guess they figured the, the fire, dust, all that's probably enough. Put one of these away. Sell the gold semiconductor. Put one of these away. Pull, oh, um one stack of ammo out. Those uh, dark Mr. Wigglers, they ate up a decent bit of my ammo. Let's check our inventory from here. Plenty of room, but we also have pretty good supplies, so I'm not too worried about it. Maybe we should use this again. Gonna come out and attack me a second. Oh, let's plug this in first. Might as well. Okay, I plugged it back in. Anyone want to attack? No? Okay. Plasma cutter damage is maxed. 
Um. You can also. Oh, let's get the air upgrade. Probably our it actually makes something that gives me a feature immediately. Because uh, we need to save our money up. Not sure if we get another rig upgrade or not. I guess I could look it up just so I know ahead of time. Oh, come on, not these guys. No! Oh, I was mashing the A button to get them off of me, and then I interacted with this stupid cargo lift. What? Oh. Mining key access was right there all along? Okay, let's use the line gun for a bit. Our ammo is pretty healthy on it. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Got anything for me? Looks like no. Money, money, money. Power node, I'll take it. Okay, let's see. Asteroid release. Release payload 8772, yes. Payload 8772 launched. Beacon's on its way. All functions normal and broadcasting wideband. Now we just have to hope somebody's listening. I'll position the array receiver. I thought I saw my brother again. He waved to me like nothing was wrong. Okay. I should be able to leave this channel open. What? The comms array receiver isn't responding. Isaac, can you get back to the bridge? We need that array online, or we can't receive signals from anyone responding to the beacon. Why don't I just repair the entire ship while I'm at it, you know? Why don't I just repair the entire damn ship? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Dark necromorph ass away from me. Okay. As you can see, I use this weapon as kind of a sidearm as well. When the line gun needs a reload, I can swap to the the plasma the plasma cutter as a backup weapon. Okay. Don't tell me I gotta move this battery around again. Definitely enjoying the usage of this line gun. The damage on it is pretty good. Right. Safe here. This way. Going up. I'm guessing we're going back to A. Ah, 
not going to do that again to me. I'm, I'm ready. You're just going to drop in whenever you want. They are just going to drop in whatever they want. I'm not looting yet. Okay, I guessed correctly. Look at this. Oh, there's someone in here. Oh, it's those weird little... No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Thing. I think I saw an item I didn't loot over here. I either missed it or it just became available. Let's manage our inventory one more time before we head back, because I think the tram is just over there. Let's put some of these medium med kits away. That's fine. Let's sell the ripper blades. We're going to keep saving up our money because I don't know if there's another upgrade. Line racks are a little low. Let's pull one out. Man, look at all the stuff we've got saved up. And we got two stacks of plasma energy. That's... Two stacks is actually... I don't even... I don't think two full stacks is good enough anymore because of the dark necromorphs. Like, they just eat up so much ammo. And that's with us having maxed out damage on it, too, so... The only way we can do better than that is if we are... We'll take this partial stack. The only way we could do better would be to have better accuracy and target their weak points more reliably. We check the workbench real quick. We got room for one. I kinda wanna work towards that last hit point. But at the same time, I also feel like... I'm going to put it here. We need to get this last point. Of, in fact, I'm going to go buy one more. I mean, we just... We got the suit this episode. I'm, unless I forgot. We just recently got the suit. So there's no way we're going to have another suit in time. So let me go ahead and buy two more power nodes. One for the upgrade and one for... Uh, in case we need to unlock a door. One, two... And that'll get our line guns damaged to the max. And that means we won't have to worry about, are we wasting ammo from shooting the line gun due to damage issues now it's at its max. So the damage on the line gun is 27. Damage per shot on the plasma cutter is 18. But the plasma cutter on individual enemies is more ammo efficient since it, the ammo stacks and you get like a lot of ammo. I can put one more item in. I think I'm going to get a capacity up. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is the closest one to it. There we go. Now it should have... We should be able to cram six into it. Let's see. Yep, six. That's actually a good number, too, because... Now it means that when if we completely shoot out the ammo, it's one full stack. So the stack sizes are more efficient. It also means we're technically carrying more ammo. Wait, did we save? safe. Being paranoid. So this is going to be one of the longer episodes, but I believe I will cut out that part in editing.
Okay. I think we're clear. Yeah, I probably will just do a jump cut on that part with the, uh, with the editing. That'll shave the episode back down a bit. Oh man, we were done. This episode, I don't think it was quite as action-packed. Oh wait, let me hear the music. Chapter 7, Into the Void. Not quite as action-packed as the previous episode, but still... It was more of an exploration-based episode, but like... Or mission. Chapter 7 was more of exploration-based, but at the same time... I mean, like, uh, th th we still fought quite a few enemies, uh, as well as a large quantity of Dark Necromorphs. That's what really eats up our ammo. What stinks about Dark Necromorphs, it's not... I mean, like, they die, certainly, but you have to put, like, three, sometimes four times the amount of ammo into them, and at best you're gonna get one ammo drop. It's not the same thing as, like, those giant hulking guys, because, like, they typically drop, like, a really good semiconductor or a power node. So th those dark necromorphs, they're really good at just wasting your ammo. And we fought, like, a, like what, about s seven or eight of them? They also introduced Dark Mr. Wiggler, so... We're, uh, I think those guys are definitely there to help uh, pressure you into carrying more ammo and being a little more cautious with your ammo consumption. But let me know what you think down in the comments section. Chapter 7, Into the Void. I guess next episode we're going to be repairing the the communications array. Like I said, if it's not one thing, it's another. I might, I might as well just repair the entire damn ship at this rate. Anyway, right, like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future Dead Space content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.